Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to go over Ansible, uh, the three main files that you're going to be working with uh, the most. And uh, we're going to use a Ansible playbook to back up uh, some of these uh, switch and router configs. Uh, if you go out to Google uh, to start with, we're one of the ones that we're going to use is the uh, Ansible Cisco iOS config. Uh, so if you just Google Ansible Cisco iOS, uh, you should come up with the Ansible documentation for Cisco iOS. So we click on that. <coughs> and over here on the left, you'll see that there are several different collections for Cisco uh, and the Cisco iOS. So on down here, you'll see all the different listings of the modules that are in use. And the one we're going to be using is the iOS command. So anytime you want to do a show, uh, any type of show commands, you're going to use this iOS command module. Um, and all the information in there with some examples, uh, like this one, show version, and you get the output of the uh, show version, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, but right here, we've got our network topology. Uh, we've got a headquarters and a few different uh, remote sites, uh, all connected through an ISP, OSPF. Uh, we've got connectivity out to the internet, but the headquarters houses our Ansible server. So let's go ahead and get on that. We've, I've already logged into it. And let me pull that up over here. All right. So I'm logged in uh, to that server. Uh, quick LL on that. I am in my home directory. Uh, we want to go to the, uh, we've got a NetOps directory on here. Uh, so let's change directory to NetOps and look at the folders we have in here. All right, so we've got a few. Uh, we've got a configs directory, reports, images, Python, and Ansible. Uh, let's go ahead and head into the Ansible. Now uh, we've got host files and backups. We're going to go into backups. So let's just clear the screen real quick, list out the files that are in here. Uh, and first off, first and foremost is your Ansible config file. Uh, there is a system wide Ansible config that's in the Etsy directory, Etsy Ansible directory. Uh, but we are going to set some specific settings for us. Uh, within our own Ansible config file. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that by catting the Ansible config file. Uh, there's only a couple of things in here. Uh, we set the defaults and our defaults for the inventory are going to be the host uh, host.yaml file in our current directory and we're not going to check for any um, uh, keys. Clear again, list those out. Uh, that, so that host file is here, host.yaml. Uh, if we cat that file out, we'll see. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the YAML files always start with dash 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 at the top. And then in a uh, YAML um, uh, format, every every um, hierarchy is uh, two spaces uh, by uh, kind of by standard it, you can be used as many as you want but standard is two spaces uh, so we've got all hosts uh, the children of all hosts is the headquarters and site 100 so far uh, you, real, you see that we have multiple sites but right now the only ones we have are these two devices and these two, two devices here in this host file. So we've got the headquarters and site 100. And it just helps us break up the, um, how we're gonna back stuff up or run commands against devices. Uh, so we can, we can target just the headquarters, we could target uh, site 100. We could also target all hosts, just do everything underneath there. Or we could do specific devices like headquarters gateway one uh, or the switch in site 100. 
Um, so we've got our host. Uh, the host name is set, and then the Ansible host is the IP address of that, uh, the manageable IP address of that device. So for instance, gateway one is the 192.168.99.1, uh, 15.2 for uh, the switch one. Uh, our variables for the entire uh, child directory is uh, going to be the network CLI for Ansible connections. Uh, the Ansible network I uh, OS is iOS. Uh, so for, for purposes of training, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put our Ansible user and our Ansible password in clear text in our host file. Uh, this is not recommended, of course, in production, uh, but again, we're just training. Uh, I'll do another video on how we can pass in uh, the username and password to our host file uh, when, we, when we run the uh, uh, playbook. So we'll clear that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the playbook, the backup YAML playbook. Uh, we're going to do a configuration backup. Again, we're in a YAML format, so dash, dash, dash. Uh, for a playbook, we're going to give the playbook a name, which is configuration backup. We're going to run uh, these against hosts, and right now we're going to run against all hosts. So if you remember from the host file uh, that I just showed you, all hosts, it's going to do currently all the switches and routers in headquarters and all the switches and routers in site 100. So what are we going to do? Our tasks. Uh, our tasks are going to be to run commands against those devices. So we're going to log in and do a show run. Uh, we're going to save that information to a, a register. Uh, we're going to call that config. And as that goes through, it's going to hit that next task of saving the output. Uh, so we're going to copy that content from the config uh, standard out to a destination directory and file. And we're going to name that file what the inventory host name is. So for headquarters gateway one, headquarters switch one is going to be the name of our config file. And it'll start with that uh, and then dot config. So let's go ahead and run uh, run the playbook. To run a playbook, it's just ansible dash playbook, and then whatever playbook you're going to run, backup.yaml is the one we're going to run. And you see our play or our playbook is configuration backup, like it was configured in our playbook. The task that is going to run is the show running configuration. We connected to those devices. We're going to save that output to the file directory uh, that we specified. Uh, we have four devices that have changed. Uh, we didn't. We either didn't have backups for it, or uh, the backups diff are different from uh, what is on the device. Uh, and then it just runs a recap of everything. Says uh, we've done two things. We've we've uh, done the show running configuration. We've saved the output. Two, two things, two uh, tasks have run successfully. Uh, one has changed. The one that has changed is the output that was saved. So clear again. And if we change our directory to the, sorry about that, uh, NetOps current configs, we list out that directory. We have our four configuration files that are saved. Now if we cat our uh, headquarters gateway device, here's our gateway config for our headquarters. So you see we're running OSPF. We've got configuration uh, interfaces configured, uh, loopback, loopback addresses, you know, Host, or, uh, there's our uh, account, user account, and we have our config. 
it's a very important uh, very important thing to do is you know have those backend configs just in case something happens you've got them saved you've got them saved off-site um, for your disaster recovery uh, plan uh, so let's go ahead what we want to do now is okay we've got headquarters and we've got site 100 what about site 200 300 and 400 well, we'll have to add these into our host file in order to uh, grab those configurations. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and edit our uh, host file. So we're going to go back to the uh, NetOps Ansible backups directory. And we're going to VI this time our hosts.yaml file. Okay. Now back into our hosts.yaml file. Uh, if we hit I, it'll give us the ability to insert information. And what we'll do is we'll add a space. And to make things somewhat simple, uh, all we need to do is just highlight and right click. And we're going to copy and paste site 100 down to here. And we'll change some of the demographic information, IP addresses. And, and whatnot to uh, add that in. So we'll do site 300 and site 400. Okay, so we go back up here. And so we've got our headquarters, site 100. And we're gonna say site 200. And site 200 gateway one. And our 200 gateway one router uh, is 20. And our site 200 switch is 15.34. Now, if you notice, uh, we've only got uh, two devices in here. So if we did 300, we're going to need to add a couple of more uh, network devices under this uh, setting. So we say site 300, gateway 1 is 30. And then we'll take and copy and paste again to do our gateway 2 device, which is 31. And our 300 switch one uh, IP address is 52. Add a line, select and paste that, and we'll say switch two is 53. And then finally, our switch or our uh, site 400. So we say site 400 gateway one is 40. And 400 switch two or switch one is 15.66. So we've got site 200, 300, and 400 added to our host file. Uh, we do escape and colon WQ for write and quit. And if we cat our host file, we can see now we've got site 200, 300, and 400 with all their uh, um, switches and routers configured uh, to be backed up or run against other playbooks that we create. So let's clear the screen again. We'll do another uh, Ansible playbook. Uh, we're going to run the backup.yaml. So again, our play is the configuration backup. 
we're going to show the running config on the devices that we're connecting to. See as it go, runs down through, connects to those devices, does the show run, and then goes to the next task, which is to save that output to a file in that directory. And you see these four here are green. We've already got configurations for those. They were already backed up. Uh, the additional devices here are the new ones that we added and have been uh, backed up as well. So on here, it's always great uh, at the end, the play recap says, you know, we ran two tasks, two tasks ran successfully. Uh, there were no changes, nothing was unreachable, nothing failed, nothing skipped, um, nothing ignored, nothing rescued. Uh, and then the rest of them are the you know, one change per those new devices. So again, we uh, change directory back to the uh, configs and current. And let's just clear, list that directory again. And we see I have site 100, 200, 300, and 400 now, all in our backups. And if we cat one of those, Let's just do the switch 400. Let's see, we've got our switch backed up. <coughs> and everything looks good. So we go back to our Ansible backups. And again, so the three main files. Uh, as we said at the beginning of the video, our, our Ansible config file, uh, where we set like what what hosts we're going to run against, uh, any type of uh, uh, specific information that we want to set within Ansible. Uh, our host file uh, is one of our our next most important one uh, that tells Ansible what devices it's going to run against, and then our playbook itself, which is the backup.yaml. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.